Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. Today we're going to be talking about investing tactics that we used to make millions. Now, disclaimer, Kirby's got all the millions in this topic. I'm still working on the first one, <laughs> but Kirby, I'll hand it off to you. <laughs> you can start this one off. Uh, it, I mean, it It don't matter. It's the same, it's the same tactics. I mean, Alex, yeah, you get there I'm just playing. relatively soon. I mean, I think Alex probably already there, but he just trying to fly under the radar on me <laughs> but um but it's the same thing uh the investment taxes i use i just i'm a contrarian i don't i don't follow the crowd i'm not you know i'm not a meme stock chaser uh i don't go with the hot stocks only thing i do is i invest in the things that people forget about but they only forget about them for a short period of time and then when they come back to them i'm already fully invested in them so case in point like during the financial crisis, you know, banks was getting crushed. I mean, you had Citibank do a reverse split. You had Lehman Brothers go over. You've seen a lot of top banks go down. And I didn't jump right in during the financial crisis. Heck no. I let it all settle out. And then I I take that back. I did get into City, City stock, temp, stock symbol C uh, earlier than I should have. And then I got caught in the reverse split. And then I was like, dang, eh, that sucked. And then, so I sold that position and then I just waited, waited, waited. And then I saw another bank that was actually, of course, conference calls, reading the, you know, transcripts from the earnings releases. And I saw that they was making money, but all the money that they was making was paying back the government from the loans. So. That's when I started investing in Bank of America and I just kept investing in it because people people was very, very salty on banks. And then after that, after I kept investing, then people started to realize, oh, yeah, these banks are making money. But I got in early because I did the homework, did the research, homework, research. And then that money grew and then I was able to sell half of the position to buy a house. But I'll give you another instance, Alex, what you did. Tell me something you did. <laughs> piggybacked off of Kirby. <laughs> no, I mean, just honestly, I mean, for me, I guess my strongest point can be just listen to people that have taken action. I mean, because you, there's so much you can learn from people that have actually put in the work. And if you can follow those footsteps, you can, you know, I don't want to make it sound like a cakewalk, but because um, there's maybe people can relate more to your story. But really, it was listening to people taking action but also you know changing my mindset on excuses not having excuses and then doing the work and same thing as to what you're saying you know the contrary investor you want to do things that people aren't doing like everything that i do people have told me no that's not going to work buying rental properties why would you do that why do you want to deal with tenants no one has ever supported buying investment properties like that is like no don't buy don't buy properties it's a headache but they've never bought a property themselves and for investment mm. and the stock market don't go invest in stocks because you know if there's another recession you'll lose all of it it's only paper money that's not real money buy gold like everyone tells you to buy like crypto or gold but they'll never tell you to buy things that are actually going to produce you an income and make you money you know so be careful on where you're getting your investment advice you know are you getting investment advice from people that truly understand what an investment is which is something that should be bringing you an income um and i mean just repeating it just doing that and repeating it i mean you know buying three rental properties in a year every time we bought one you know every four months we bought one went flat broke went back to work bought another one flat broke and it was just like repeated that process and it was just staying focused like not even worrying about celebrating you know forget that as well right and um you brought up again some good points uh listening to people that's actually doing it if somebody's if somebody's talking about cryptocurrency when or bitcoin when it's already up to seventy thousand, then where the hell was you at when it was at 25,000 when it was just sitting there? Yeah. I mean, everything that we talk about, we talk about what's to come. So it gives people time to invest in it. I mean, Alex, I remember telling you, telling you in a group about Meta. And I said, 
right now the world is saying meta is worth less than it was pre-covid and then it gives you an opportunity to invest now if i would have waited till meta got almost back up to 400 and said hey yeah y'all see meta that's how that's how the stock market work y'all should do it how did i benefit anybody right so it's being the contrarian when everybody's looking at something and everybody's feeding into it i.e real estate now alex you know this because when everybody was florida became the hot market i already had a lot of properties in florida and then when everybody else started navigating to florida just the value of what i already had just continued to rise but i'm already here and then when i i said it what a year after COVID, i said all right i'm pivoting out of florida this stuff is about to get ridiculous the property tax is going to get higher the uh insurance is going to get higher not pivot to sell what i have just to invest in another market and then i gave the reason why i said all right i'm about to move up to georgia move out of state and start looking at other investment opportunities because everybody's focused on florida i don't want to be following the crowd i want to be in before the crowd and then so you know we moved to uh different states and then now look oh people starting to recognize ah oh, but we already have the properties there so just bring our value up just keep bringing our value up and then that's the that's the key thing is you have to be ahead of and it's not just oh i'm taking wild guesses you have to do the homework the research to make it happen but if you get ahead of everybody and quote uh for everybody that don't understand warren buffett was so successful because he was ahead of the game he wasn't following the hot stocks on youtube he was actually doing the research that's why he got into coca-cola at a cheap price knowing that Coca-Cola is an iconic brand. People are going to buy it no matter if you're in a recession, no matter if you're in euphoria. And it's going to keep producing money. You know, the American Express, especially during the financial crisis, he looked at, okay, everybody's down on the financials, jump into American Express and buy a large chunk. Because it's coming back. People are addicted to debt and credit. So go get it. And that's how he's made all of his billions and things like that, is being a contrarian investor, not following the crowd, I mean, just think, Apple, Apple's been flying for a long time, but Warren Buffett didn't become the biggest shareholder or start investing into it until 2016, I believe, when everybody was down on it and the stock was coming down. Yeah, everybody could say, well, if he would have invested back in the 80s, he would have made more. But he still got in when everybody was not paying attention to Apple. He built his position, built his position, and then now look where we're at. You can't follow the crowd to riches. You have to be looking around the corner and looking at the next opportunity, but you have to do the work to do it. You can't just be guessing. It's not like a lottery thing. You got to have, you got to have different variables lined up or different instances to say, this is why I want to do it. Just like the real estate. I said, this is why I said it's going to get so expensive in Florida for the people that live in Florida to live. They're going to still want access to Florida, but they want to pay a cheaper price to live. So what's the closest place that you're going to get access to Florida? And it'll be cheaper for you to live. Georgia, Alabama. You still get access to Florida beaches. You know, a little drive. But you paying cheaper rent. So when everybody running down here to Florida, then I start looking in those tertiary markets close to the Florida zone and then started acquiring, started acquiring. Then look what happened. Now, everybody's trying to rush to those markets to try to buy properties. And then it's just bringing the value of what I have up. That's how I do it in stocks. That's how I do it in business. That's how I do it in real estate. And that's how I'll keep on doing it. Being ahead of the game. And it it sucks because nobody's talking about it. But when everybody's talking about it and you're already in, you just print money. Yeah. And I mean, it, it's going to all your points with, you know, speaking on Warren Buffett and learning those strategies. Like when I say learning from someone that's put in the work, like I'm, I'm gonna be patting your back on this Kirby but like learning oh, from God. you <laughs> learning from you is different because a lot of people in yes there's there's some people that have done more than others but the way you use the way your strategies are is like you're learning from strategies that the uber wealthy are doing it's not paying attention to what the baseline millionaires are doing it's paying attention to what are the guys that are making moves changing the world doing what is warren buffett doing what is grant cardone doing what is so-and-so doing that has a huge stake in the game these guys control the game 
if you can learn their footsteps and as we've talked about in maybe in the class not on here but these guys are 10 months ahead they're looking way ahead and everyone's still stuck behind so if they're already 10 months ahead they're going to collect all that you know gain leading up until then so it's learning what the strategies are that the that the mega wealthy are doing not what baseline you know regular millionaires are doing because honestly you might even go broke doing that listening to guys that are just doing drop shipping i mean it's because where is true wealth created it's created from those that are doing research taking action and have a different strategy from the rest of the crowd absolutely and with all that being said alex this was a this was a good conversation. I didn't think it was going to go as, as it went, but it was actually a good conversation. But all that being said, hit the subscribe, the like button. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. And uh, trust me, this probably be the last time Alex pat me on the back. So I'm going to hold on to this one. Okay? I'm going to hold on to this one. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you guys.